Hey, I'm Jason, and in this tech tip, I wanted to talk about the difference between a dual ball bearing hub and a swivel hub. Primarily, the difference is that a dual ball bearing hub is meant for continuous rotation and is heavier duty, whereas a swivel hub is meant for non continuous rotation, hence the word swivel, and is not quite as heavy duty. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the swivel hub for just a second. Um, the swivel hub basically is two sides that have a screw going together and a lock nut holding them together, and they've got some ball bearings in between. Um, so this is great where you need um, to use something to take a little bit of load off and you have a compact space requirement, especially since you don't need to worry about putting a shaft through and putting things on the end to keep the shaft from sliding through and all that. It's, it's very compact and it's happiest when the load is coming straight down on top like this. And it's again, it's not quite as heavy duty, but it's nice when you need to, uh, a little bit of friction reduction in a small amount of space. An example of a recent project I did um, where I utilize the swivel hub is for a trigger, um, which um, ultimately controlled a weed whacker. But this trigger is uh, attached to a hub, which is attached to a poten potentiometer, but to kind of take some of that load off of the potentiometer so you're not bending it in any way, I have a dual ball bearing hub in there. Um, and I have a very uh, compact space that it uh, needed to fit within and really no reason for a shaft to be going through. Um, so it was a really good fit for this, especially since you're not continuously rotating um, because anytime you're using a nut, even though it's a lock nut, if you continuously rotate, you could run into issues where it tightens or loosens itself. Next, we have the dual ball bearing hub. Uh, the dual ball bearing hub um, is actually really useful uh, in a lot of cases where you have uh, compact space requirements. Again, it's not quite as compact as the swivel hub, but it does a little bit more. It actually has two ball bearings, as the name would imply, and it's actually really heavy duty. Um, so you might have some situations where, you know, you might otherwise use like a channel with, with two um, pillow blocks, maybe up on the top like this with the bottom tap pillow blocks, or maybe two pillow blocks on the side with these face tap pillow blocks. Because um, if you're running a shaft through and say you're putting a wheel on the end, um, you want more than one bearing generally because um, you don't want that bearing to act as a pivot point. You want it to give it extra stability. But if you have uh, more compact spacer requirements than an entire channel, you can do that with this single component. Um, you can run a shaft through there and you have both uh, ball bearings in there keeping it in place and they're perfectly lined and it's nice and strong. Um, it's also handy sometimes to have it within this round form factor. Uh, so here's another fun project I did uh, at some point, uh, just putting parts together and I made a, a robotic style set of nunchucks here. And uh, you can hurt yourself with these, but these are really lightweight and super heavy duty. Um, and it just worked really well to use the dual ball bearing hubs in a setup like that. Um, so you have like this really, really flexible, um, super low friction, very strong uh, multi joint. So those are the primary differences between a dual ball bearing hub and a swivel hub. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.